I was a somewhat new father, was really wrestling with that responsibility, didn't believe I'd be a good father, thought I'd, I would let my, my, my daughter down just for some reason. Um, so I carried a lot of anxiety with me around that. But then a few months after our first child was born, one of my best childhood friends who I looked up to almost like an older brother um, took his own life in an intentional overdose. And when, when I, I lost him, it, it just threw me into this, like this haze, this fog that I couldn't get out of my, my coping strategies, which were not healthy. They weren't, they weren't doing the trick anymore. <clears throat> um, I, I was a mess. I was an absolute mess. I just felt like I was walking around in a perpetual fog all the time. Um, and one day before work, I was home alone and just it was just having a really dark moment. And all of a sudden, for whatever reason, I hadn't prayed in well over a decade. This serenity prayer popped in to my head. You know, help me accept what is, let go of what was or that I can't change and give me the, give me the wisdom to know the difference, of what I can change and what I can't. Um, and as soon as I finished saying that prayer, um, I, I, I just felt this warm sensation just wash over me from head to toe, like a physical sensation, like this warmth just flow over me. And me being this, <laughs> ever the skeptic and logical person thought, okay, that's weird. I've either just lost my mind, like I've actually like cracked up psychologically, or maybe there's something to this God thing. 